Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Outer, Outer Wilds? Yeah, Outer Wilds. That's the one this is. You know, those two games being released so close to each other, I'm never quite going to get over it, it seems like. Oh, good. And we're allowed to just enter the elevator. Uh, welcome back to Outer Wilds. Echoes of the Eye is the full intro. Uh, I have a plan today. We're going we're gonna to move fast. We're going to try to get as much time as we can in the old stranger here. Probably ought to actually go and mark the stranger on the HUD. Oh, no, wait. It, the HUD marker persisted between loops before. It looks like it maybe didn't this time. Maybe it doesn't persist between instances of the game being launched. No, I know. There's a lot of stuff going on. I need uh, map mode. And then... Here we go. Okay. So we're going to go in uh, Spaceward side again, because my plan today, or at least for this run, is to just take the raft that we that we get on from the Spaceward side all the way to the dam, and then start working backwards from there. My hope is that that's... Well, okay, I'm just... I'm just pressing buttons pretty much at random at this point in my spaceship, which is maybe not the right way to do that thing. Also, I accelerated way too much, as I always, always, always do. You might think, someday, someday, SP will figure out how to pilot this damn spaceship. But I don't know. I don't know if the evidence is on your side there, friend. The math does not seem to be in your favor, much as it is never in mine. Interesting, if I'm not boosting, we're losing approach speed. It's moving away from me, it seems like. How dare it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Working hard, working hard to match. Okay. Probably want to be. That's all I meant to do. We probably want to be to this side of it a little bit more. All right, start firing the retros. Look at look at me trying to give myself time to actually slow down. I'm learning, very very slowly. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Did you know spaceships? Complicated to, uh, complicated to operate, actually. It's almost like I should have been given some kind of formal training. Okay, so. We're gonna get on the raft. We're gonna take the raft all the way to the dam. And then I don't exactly know what the plan is from there. I suppose it depends an awful lot on uh, what we find. This is what's gonna happen every every day. Every day it's gonna be a little rough for the first like the first landing or two as I just kinda reclaim it a little bit. There we go. You know, it could have been a lot worse, is what I'll say. And it should be easy enough. If we're working backwards from the dam, it should be easy enough to figure out where we were. Like to get to get back to the point that we have have gone to, searching it in the other direction. Uh, to some extent, I need to make sure that the raft doesn't get smashed, but I don't know if that's even a thing. We've seen the rafts. Uh, we've seen the rafts sustain quite a lot of damage. It might not be a real concern. this. 
stay that way. Okay. I really do love, and this music has a lot to do with it. I really do love riding the raft with this song playing. It's got a very adventurous feel. Back this way. So there are power lines. There's just power lines running. I think they're high enough. Yeah, they're high enough up off of the water that we don't need to stress about them here. Okay, that's certainly something. We're going all the way to the dam, though. This is cool. So there's clearly some metals used in this construction. I wonder where they got the metals from. Um, let's get off on this side, I guess. Yeah, this stuff's all interesting. That's definitely different words, right? Like, that's a different shape. Is that a screen? I, I had been assuming it was just a window. Maybe all we maybe all we were witnessing there is just... Oh, I could have gone all the way to the dam. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come backwards to all this stuff. I want to go up onto the dam. takes the boat over. Neat. What a neat device. Alright, it doesn't immediately look like there's structures over here, and there's definitely something at the other end of the dam. So we'll probably just go check that out. I just wanted to poke my head up here and see for sure. Okay. Yeah, let's go see what's over there. Certainly a doorway at the very least. So the whole exterior of the ship is made of these same kinds of metals, right? So they built this whole place out of materials from wherever they're from. It makes me wonder if all the trees are transplants? I mean, I guess they'd have to be, right? They're not naturally occurring Ringworld trees. What a question. <laughs> what, a, what a question that was. Well, this is spooky. Am I gonna be sad that I did this? Okay, well that's definitely machinery. Light-operated machinery. Can I plug this in? No, our character will not pick that up. All right, one, hold on, one... One thing at a time. Doesn't it seem like we should reconnect that, though? So this is just like a viewing theater? With their fancy goblets and their little bowls? Everything they, everything they build has these, like, tabs coming off the side. I wonder if it has to do with the shape of their hands. Have we really seen their hands? I'm actually not certain. A 
secondary viewing theater. Oh. Okay. So looks like all the other screens in here are maybe off, maybe busted. A lot of stuff's just unplugged though, and like that plug looks fine, and that socket looks fine, and it's driving me crazy that I can't just put it back in. All right, what do we have here? Turn off the light. Are they tracking the progress of the sun toward its... Would they have known? I guess they knew about the eye, right? So... I don't know what to make of this. This is this is the, the ring, right? This is the stranger. So I guess this is a view of the stranger from the other angle. Potentially, right? The little, the little spines coming off the bottom are these. But they're not spines. They're like, potentially they're transmitters. Like some kind of energy coming out from the center. And something is supposed to happen as this is filling. The stranger is supposed to be moving. And this looks a lot like their representation of the eye, but I don't really... I think we're still a little low on information for interpretation's sake here. Did that stairwell go down any further? No, it did not. Okay, well, let's check the side passage, I suppose. We're gonna end up with this, like, this huge repository of their, of their writing and their symbols. Okay, well, that's how that elevator works, apparently. Makes sense to me. I'll bring it back, please. So they must have been comfortable. I guess that makes sense. If they have owly eyes, they must have been comfortable in the dark such that they could use light as a way of operating machines and not have to not have to worry so much about using it for like basic illumination. Oh, this is just a way back. I, I was wondering why our ship had become our ship beacon had become visible again, because this is just a way to the hangar that I totally missed because it's in a dark corner and there's absolutely nothing to suggest its existence. Okay. Neat. It's neat that they actually built in, like, good on the developers for trying their best to make this a space that actually makes sense as a thing that was used by the people who lived here. Well, I do believe that is the sound of the dam rupturing. Yeah, because if they if they have eyes like owls, and you do see they have those like those big sort of very very wide conical structures around their eyes, where their eyes are sort of set back a little bit to catch light and direct it into like to bounce the photons into their eyes they would be able to see in relatively very, very little light. Well, if I fire the boosters right before we hit the surface of the water, we shouldn't go under too far, right? Is the wave like sort of settled? Oh, here it comes. Okay, let's give this a moment. I wanna let the current equalize um, before we jump down there, because otherwise it's just going to slam me into this wall um, in a way that I'm not really looking forward to. And then we'll, we'll work our way back up here and see what is still what is still available to us. It looks like on the high ground around this area, there's not really anything of value, although there is that, which I'm curious about. And then up there, that's the building with the lanterns. Okay. Yeah, 
That wasn't so bad. By a tiny bit, it's fine. So this building is actually suspended from above, which is interesting. Uh, well, I guess let's let us look beneath. There, okay, there is a way in from down. I wonder if this used to be one of those grab your um, grab your raft mechanisms, but the bottom part broke off with the flood, maybe. Hey, this was um, we saw this in one of the film things. <laughs> yes, sure. Alien char. Well, sounds like we spat it out. So the fires created the locks, right? That's what we saw. Oh, 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 if we got one of those artifacts up here, I bet we could fill it with a fire. I am not going to pretend that I have any idea what that would do or mean, though. Well, all right, more goals, I suppose. Because the thing I learned, apparently, from the tale of the Nomai was, yeah, sure, just do whatever. Anything's justifiable in the pursuit of knowledge. That's, that's what they were trying to teach me, right? Uh, that still looks pretty accessible over there. I think I think we can get up to that. This, on the other hand, well, I guess depending on depending on what the cliff face looks like over here, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not, though. Start, starting to think, perhaps. All right, let's give it a shot here. Looks like there's some some surfaces that should be flat enough to be standable. There we go. <clears throat> That's exactly what I meant to do. From up here, yeah, we can make that. Got to be careful not to put too much of our momentum. Yep, exactly like that. That's the thing I was talking about not doing. Too much of our momentum into a sort of a horizontal place. I need a vertical lift off first. There we go. Is it still functional? Well, not from this side. Oh no, whatever shall I do? This is... I actually can't tell if this is the same or not. Like this little shape down here, I remember being on the bottom of the one by the dam. I don't know. It's a complicated alien language. Hey, there's a functional lantern on the level below us. So this is like the private viewing floor. This is where the fancy people got to sit. And this is some fan art somebody did about how much they love The Legend of Zelda. What is on the other side of this? 
okay, same deal. Pretty weird, though. Just a wall out in the middle of nowhere? Like, this is not a kind of structure we see in very many other places, right? I guess there's two of them, so they're, they're specifically, they're framing this building. And there's these great big chains holding that out exactly where it is. Which is curious. I'm wondering if, perhaps, it would be unwise to mess with that. Seems like maybe that's what they're, they're trying to suggest to us. And yet, mess with it we shall. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to this lower level. Um, the floor's all busted. Okay, well that's not new information. That's just the inside of the... a map of the inside of the thing. Wow. All right. Whatever this was for, it ain't for that no more. This is where that big chain is rooted. So okay, at the very least, this is a place where we can get a hold of some lanterns, some lit lanterns even after things have gone completely to hell. Not necessarily an easy place to, from which to get them anywhere meaningful, but definitely something. All right, that's our next investigative priority, I guess. Or over, you know what? The stuff over here is probably next. I'm kind of curious. Um, okay, well. Thank you very much, developers, for not filling this water with hostile creatures that that scare me a lot. Would have been such an easy thing for you to do, and I know a lot of other video game developers have failed to show this kind of restraint. Ah, oh, this ain't gonna work. I'm born back ceaselessly by the tides. Oh god. Well, it's all right. I don't, uh, yep, there we go. I don't suspect we're going to have to while away many more hours here. Okay, so. I do wonder if I could just do the, um, do the jump up onto the territory the dam is on from the path right where the raft drops down. I felt like we were so close to getting it that one time I think I'm not going to bother though. Let's just let's just go ahead and and take the raft the normal way here because otherwise I'm going to screw it up and then we're going to end up just floating in the river and it's all going to get weird and complicated. And this time it's not going to take me 10 minutes to align with the stranger. gonna we're just gonna maneuver around it where's the sun relative okay hey, look at me overshooting it again I actually slowed down and everything but the, I think the problem is I was moving in the wrong moving along the wrong axis in the first place. You know, you know how I do. I mean, the, the autopilot would do a better job, but eventually, if I keep working on this, that will stop being true. 
that's my, my, my most fervent hope is to get to a place where actually I am doing the good job. Does it seem like a bit of a pipe dream? Sure. But what is life? What is life without dreams? We got it. Look, it's easy. It's easy. The number one thing about video games is that they're very easy. That's why everybody loves them so much. Alright, so once again, all the way to the dam, but this time... This time we drop off early to the left. Plus, it is fun to pilot the raft. A little, little bit more of this, maybe. There we go. Still gonna brush it. We're doing it just a tiny bit. It's harder than it looks to hold a light and turn slightly. I mean, it would basically have to, right? It looks very easy. So I wonder if these cables are how power is distributed from, like, if this is actually a massive screen on both sides. The cables have to be how the power is, how the power is distributed to the edges, right? So maybe, maybe this thing here that's in this cavern next to us is like the power plant. I could see that being the case. It's it's over the part where the water is fast. Oh yeah, we gotta stop and check this out at some point too, but not not the point of this journey. Yep, yeah, that's all right. Everything's fine. All right, let's actually go this way this time. Like a glove? You know how when you're putting your glove on, you usually bump your hand a bunch of times and can't quite get it in there? It's like that. Oh, now this is interesting. What is that? Some kind of vessel, again, potentially, like, transmitting, or... So it's got a power cable running into this room... It's wild that so many of the systems are still functional here. I mean, I guess I could say the same of the Nomai ships, and maybe maybe should have. Maybe I should have thought that that was crazier. Okay, yeah, let's have a look in here first. So, first things first. Uh, functional lantern, always good to have. Is this... Oh, it is. Okay. Is there another set of reels in the basement, perhaps? Oh, a little one. You know, the idea of them being, like, being able to see so much better in the dark does make a lot of sense of... Oh, no. This is where the reels would have been kept. So I guess they'll be down there. It does make a lot of sense out of why, like, their art is so dark in color. Is this the only reel down here? There's another room. 
Looks like maybe yes. Okay, that's the that's the power flicker. Not a big deal. I didn't know better. I'd say the trees around here were out to get me. So this one seems to be related to the big, the big, what I'm at the moment thinking of as a prison. That big prison cell. There's a lot of things it could be, but you know, I'm American and all right. Let's just have a look here. So. Cosmos. Hey, this could this could specifically be this could be a specific planet, maybe their home planet. To the eye, to the artifact with the fire inside of it, to this thing. I still don't really know how to interpret a lot of this. Oh, it's all fucked up. Uh, I can't really tell what we're seeing around the edges. Is any of this thing functional? We're gonna get jump scared. It's gonna. I'm not leaning forward. It's gonna try to do. It's gonna try to do a jump scare on me. I just know it. We're gonna get one image, and it's gonna be real scary. This looks like it's just the inside of one of these buildings. I can't really make anything else out. A bunch of shapes, but it could just be painting on the walls. No, it's definitely... It's definitely owl people coming closer. And then one owl person real close. Okay, so here we are on the ring world. And they built up the great big bell. And they sank the bell in the water. And the music relating to that is remarkably calming. And that's all we know. I am not necessarily dissuaded uh, from thinking of this thing as potentially, this place as potentially a prison. I think that that is well in keeping with what we saw there. So yeah, before the dam breaks, that thing is completely submerged. It would be much harder to find a way in. So does the artifact... Damn it, I moved it. I moved the thing over. Because this one actually does have the mechanism on both sides. Does the artifact have... a way of protecting a lamp? Or protecting the fire? Like, if we got fire into it... No, no, no. If we got fire into it and then had to go in the water with it, I wonder, right? I wonder if it would be able to, um, can I pull my, let's pull this first, I guess. I want this lantern. I don't know what I intend to do with it, but I do know that I want to have a lantern. So this is some kind of complicated lock for this building, potentially. Um, where can I put this lantern? Where I feel like it'll be safe when the flood happens. Will it sit up here? I'm not actually allowed to put it down up here. Well, then this will have to do. Okay, how does this thing work? Okay. So 
so it looks like three phases of the sun or moon, then their planet. The thing is, every one of those things that we've seen that's like uh, a circle of shapes with arrows indicating direction has only had four symbols on it, right? And not all of the symbols are represented here anyway. Like the the prison bell is not here. So I feel like I don't have I don't have the information. I don't have whatever it is we need. I don't think I've seen it. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I think that may be all we're gonna get out of this area. So let's maybe try to head up to those buildings over there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that without going all the way around, though. It may be the case that we need to just get in the water and go all the way around. Is this lantern going to screw with the... Okay, it has to be quite close to stuff to activate it. That's actually very handy. I can see how that would how that would make their um, technology a little bit easier to maneuver. All right, so we'll let this thing pick us up and dump us over the other side. Try to go all the way around and, and tack right as best we can. What is the state of the dam at this juncture? Oh, all right. Well, this might be very exciting. Hey, there's a captive body of water up there. My advice is let's go fast. very fast, away from all of this. Oh, it beached us. Oh, it's... Well, let's hang on and see what happens, I suppose. Brace... Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. The answer is everything's fine except my lamp. Well. I need to make it back to the raft if we're going to get picked up by the raft thing. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that one of those would not grab me. Oh, we hit the rapids. Oh, we hit the rapids. And hits. Hits a good word for it. I'm trying so hard to go to the surface. Alright, all right. steer toward a building, steer toward a building. Where'd that raft go? How did you end up over there? Shit, is there another one coming? No, not really. I'm not going to be able to get up there with that one. Okay, there is a raft loaded onto that right now. current is relatively mild in this area. We know that. I don't know if this is going to work, but if the... Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. push around this rock here. I don't think the raft will fit through that space there is my concern. So I'm just trying to get us around this big rock. Okay. So let me get away from the wall a bit. Oh, that way. That way. 
Ah, the current's too fast. I can't fight it. <sighs> Shit. Okay, we can do this at least. So we did not get to see what was up here before. The structures that keep the bridge intact are somewhat less intact now than they were before. Hmm. I wonder. We might be able to cross over on top of the tunnel if I can... All right, all right, all right. Can I get us up onto a surface that'll... Ow! Stupid hard plant. All right, hold on. This little rock right here... Ah... Uh... I'm relatively certain if we could get on that, we could stand on it. Here we go. <laughs> Let's start from on the railing. No, maybe I was wrong. Okay, well, we might just be screwed on this. It, it may not be possible. Closer to the raft. Okay. Shoot. All right, all right, all right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm slippery. It's it's a little slippery. Okay. Cool. We're gonna try again. <laughs> Turn off light, turn off light. I am steering the raft while not on it, which is definitely not helping. Okay. I don't know how long we have exactly. Feels like it can't be too much longer. Dead End Bay now? Looks like it. It doesn't look like there's really any value in being in there. That's an upside down raft. How unfortunate its adventures have been. We just do our level best. We'll cross all the way over here while the current is slow. I love the fact that positioning on the boat is so important. Like you can you can make a lot of things happen with a little bit of careful careful footwork. we got to be a lot more cautious though. We got to be ready to lean hard on the brakes basically. I'm intentionally going to pump the wall a lot. it, right? Okay. 
I don't think it's going to get much better than that, given the position we're in. Okay, so... Very interesting. There's that damn music. Now let's look this way first. See, now that seems significant. Oh, it's another one of these. Looks like the same images as before. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe these five picture these five pictures are supposed to give us the five pictograms for the lock on that other building, maybe? What would they be though? The second one is the the big Saturnine planet. This one is I was hanging out with my with my banjo. That one's I developed candle making technology and it made me glow with happiness. I hope my ship's log has that string of pictures in it. All right, here we go. This is the moment for doing things that are brave. We're about to be out of time, so. Okay, another artifact source. Good to know, good to know. Another projector with another set of reels. Two more reels, in fact. I don't have a lantern. Yeah, we're not actually going to be able to see anything here. This one has to do with the artifacts, potentially. Maybe. I think I'm just only seeing the artifact because we're only illuminating the bottom part of the, uh, the image. Let's do one more. I feel like we learned a lot there. Or rather, I feel like we gained a lot of kinds of questions. And that is an important part of the learning process. It's not the same place as, like, getting somewhere, necessarily. But it is a necessary prerequisite to getting somewhere. <laughs> So let's go investigate that part of the river while we're um while while the water is still low. And at some point we have to try actually lighting one of those artifacts. So the only place that we've seen a fire is the um is the the bell, the bell prison thing, right? It would maybe be a good idea for us to figure out another way of finding one. But again, I suppose... Retros... Again, I suppose that it's not really... Um, necessarily a big deal if the artifacts do in fact protect the fire from water somehow. If, if we are allowed to use an artifact to carry the fire under the water. Right, we came through at a very opportune moment here. Things were already basically aligned. Coming in a little hot, you know... It's fine. There, there is no landing control to yell at me about it, so <laughs> nobody will ever know what a bad job we did.
All right, I do believe one of our fastest and cleanest entries yet. And look at that, smooth. One of these days, I might even be good at this game. I guess I probably want to go around this side of this thing. a little bit different when you're still on low tide here. Part of it is that the raft is in kind of an awkward rotation where I can't really I can't really push left and back at the same time the way I used to. We're getting there though. Okay. hug the wall here, but I also don't want to be flung off of the raft, so we have to approach it a little bit more slowly. cavern back there or it is like a little bit of a cavern well now that's interesting and it's sort of it's like dammed up with rafts huh my big concern obviously is that if I go down there I'm not gonna be able to get back but we're gonna try it anyway be able to peek around without actually being in the water. Now, see, that's interesting. Okay, so we can explore this from above. That being the case, let's, um... Okay. So, lower levels first. already seen that. Let's go this way. In particular, would be very interested in a source of lanterns, because I would love to see what's on those slide reels. This is actually just, like, not a very useful place to be. Well, now that's interesting. I'm not gonna be able to get anywhere near the height I would need for this though, right? Uh, it's not as far as I, oh shit. I managed to fall exactly where the damn hole in the roof was, or the hole in the floor rather. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. There goes the power. Since we're down here anyway, and I don't think there's a way back up. It 
Is there anything interesting or noteworthy in this little cavern? Looks like no, and then it just feeds back into the river as a whole. Is there a way? Say I'm some kind of not very effective owl person. What got myself thrown in the river? Is there a way, one wonders, to get one of these uh, one of these things to issue me a... Uh, I don't think the darkness volume is operating quite the way it's supposed to. Our vision is, like, very weird here. Is there a way to get one of these things to issue me a raft? It's fine. We'll just we'll just float over here. Let's test this. It doesn't recognize me as a grabbable object, right? No. Okay. Reasonable. Okay. And the fact that the light is down means that there isn't a raft. Were there a raft in there, the light would be pointing up. So I guess the only thing for us to do, really, is um, hop the dam and try to grab another raft from a place where there is one. There's one. Okay, we can we can get that not going to be able to get it to go back up river. Yeah, that area, that area around the tunnel is too, um, the current's too fast. But we might be able to steer it back over to that area. I don't know how we're doing versus the um, versus the damn timer here. Things are looking pretty rough. Go fast. And let's not beach the boat this time. This feels really cool. I don't know if it looks cool and fun. It feels really cool and fun. Do not beach the raft. Okay. And it's a cool way of for them to like create a new kind of gameplay. Like a new thing to do that feels very different from all the old things that you do without actually having to add like new controls or anything. Limited time to get this right. In fact, am I having this much trouble because we're already too late on that? Is the flow is the flow bad? There we go. There we go. A little bit of leftward momentum. Uh, this is tough. I can get us to go backwards. Oh, alright. Sucked into the flow here. No, the water levels definitely aren't rising yet. And the bridge is already gone. Hmm. Can 
I... No. Yeah, the bridge is gone before the water level problem starts. Alright. My new plan is to get picked up over there. Yeah. I have a thought on how we might get back. I think we want to be on this side to attempt it. I guess we're going to sit here for a little bit. <laughs> um, so let's try to figure this out, maybe. So let's see. If this does... If this does relate to the five pictures... One of the... The second one is certainly that. Man. I should take screenshots. And actually try to puzzle this out. The problem is, I feel like most of them don't relate to any of these. Okay, this could be this could be the eyes, right? In that one where the owl man is looking directly at the painter, their eyes do kind of look like this, right? But like none of these are none of these are I was then I was piloting a raft. I don't know. This doesn't feel right. Feels like we're still definitely short information. Okay. My plan was to try to climb this face. Is it like intended? No, absolutely not. But that doesn't mean that we can't do it. Because we have ingenuity and this building to start from. Right? Like it's quite close. If we could just get on top of the bridges or something, I think we'd be in really good shape for navigational purposes. So let's see. Just going straight up from here. Almost. That's almost high enough. I wonder. That distance feels a little too far. And it sure doesn't seem like maybe we could wedge in there and prevent from falling. It doesn't really look like um, there's any other spots here where we could get a foothold, though. Everything is sloped correctly to uh, to eject us. Well, I'm just going to try this one. Ah, except I was... I was... going to sideways, and I converted all my booster energy into sideways momentum. Sigh. Had I been through this busted... Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, this used to be underground. Or uh, underwater. Yes, I had been through this busted part of a building before. It does take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of work to get the jetpack to do what you want it to do. You have to be smart about it. If you start moving horizontally before you employ the boosters, you can lose a lot of your potential height. No, I think, I think, I think they saw me coming on this one. I think they're, they were ready for this. And yeah, that's definitely too far kind of person makes a video game about exploration and then doesn't make it super sequence breakable. Can you imagine? Can you imagine such a thing? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I took damage from that touching that panel. Like, we weren't really going that fast. 
And it didn't sound like the damage I took was impact damage. Like, it didn't have that, that like, thwack noise. I think that panel is red because it's hot and it burned me. That's my take on what just happened there. And that's weird. That's a weird thing to have occurred. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work either. That really... That really looks like it was going to be standable. Alright. Okay. My arm. Well. As you can tell, I've sort of a little bit given up due to despair on getting much more information out of this loop, but navigability practice is still important. That's a, a type of information that totally matters. Ow. You know, because when we know that we can get places from other places that, that can influence our routing, uh, it has been a full hour already, and we're just going to do one more loop. We're just going to do one more loop, and this time I'm going to get up in the thing, and I'm not going to hurl myself through a broken floor. When that area, when the water level is high in that area, the water level's still not above the raft grabber, right? Which would mean that the water level is not high enough to allow us, excuse me, to allow us to swim up to a higher height in that building. So I think it probably is, it probably is something you have to approach from the bottom, or from the top, and I just don't exactly know how. Sorry, we'll figure it out. not to get too too far away from it this time. There we go. I'm getting better at that. It's so weird that you can see everything else through it. Perfect. How do they do that? <laughs> you reckon? Build their ship such that it hides the sun, but not any other thing on the other side of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some real world explanations for all of the alien tech that we're seeing here uh, from y'all on my desk before Monday morning. And we still have a lot to do in a lot of these areas, right? We're not we're not done with basically anywhere. But we still this is this is like the last rich vein of I have no idea what this place is about that is left to us. Well, that and the big cavern where the bridge is out. That's really what I was thinking. If we could have gotten on top of that that bluff from that building or on top of the tunnel, I think it would have given us a way to access that, that spot where the bridge is out. And I'm very, very curious about that. All right, 
here, here's the sweet spot for this. Uh, yeah, that's remarkably fun every single time. Just like, just like making the minor adjustments. All right, so we intentionally crash into the wall here. Just ride the way. Yeah. So my my guess is the power is being generated in that middle area. Hoping that these buildings will give us access to it from this side. Okay, let's try one more thing over here. You know, there's hardly any holes in the floor, too. Like, I I managed to do a very precise thing there. Accuracy low, precision high. That seems to always be my problem. I'm trying so hard not to overshoot this. If we just, like, I need an inch or two on this jump, right? Like, one of these is probably good. Okay. Sadly... Ooh, no, that's accessible. That is 100% accessible. Aha! Uh -huh. Film reels of fire. Okay, so this building has an artifact symbol on it. Can we access... Hold on, I, I want to see what's in this one. That's an elevator. Right, the mechanism down on the bottom of this that's broken, it's an elevator control panel. That makes sense. Can I drop the elevator with this? Okay, if we screw things up, that's down there for us now. So we know that building. This is the theater with the artifact. We know the film reels in the basement and yeah, okay. We'll come back here if we find a lantern. I am gonna grab this though. So let's take it back this way. Let's take it into the building that has the artifact symbol on it. Does that mean this is a place where artifacts are kept? Or because there's a fire in the artifact on the building, does that mean this is a place where you can light your artifact? We also need to check that out, but it looks like that door doesn't even open from this side. So we're going to have to do some shenanigans. All right. One thing at a time. One shenanigan per moment. Regrettably, we've never been able to get the limit up higher than that. They love a they love a nice observing balcony. They feel very strongly about making sure there are lots of these. Okay, so we've seen this. I'm actually gonna trigger this. Well no, this is the one that's beyond the dam. Never mind. I was going to say just so there's a place for us to get pulled up if we fall back in the river, but we wouldn't be able to access that on a raft anyway. There's a door there that we can't open. Oh, there's a door there that we must open. All right, hold on just a damn second here. This door appears to only open from the other side. Right, it doesn't have the, um, 
Yeah, it doesn't have the mechanism on this side, unless that could be made to move somehow. I am gonna send this down. I'm not gonna be on it when it when it goes, but those cables don't. No, the cables don't re reach out down there or anything. Huh. Okay, this is obviously tremendously important. Lantern with a fire artifact with... See, it looks like it has a fire in it, but also there's something else going on with it. And then this one is just... Like, it doesn't have a front or something. And then this one is just artifact with a fire. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to, like, bounce light in there so that we can... We can hit the door from the other side or something. Alright, this is fascinating. This is a room that is obviously critically important. And we will return to it sometime. Uh, it probably doesn't need to be done, but I'm going to drop this elevator too. Again, just in case, you know... Okay, so we saw up in here, right? This is just another one of those picture rooms. Although I am going to stop and get a nice clean look at each at each one of the pictures. Just for my, uh, my sake. Examining this footage later, trying to figure out what the order could be. So, okay, no, its eyes are, its eyes are round. You know what? I just figured it out. So there are functional lanterns in here. We could we could do a projector thing. We'll come back and, and think about that. I want to see what's in this cavern first, because this stuff is all still intact after the water level rises, right? Uh, but the owl the owl guys are obviously like they're a little unsettling, and they're meant to be unsettling, right? Very clearly. Um, but there was something specific about the shape of their heads and the way they look and the position of their eyes and stuff that was bothering me and I couldn't quite figure out what it was until I really looked at that that image of it looking directly at us with its eyes glowing. Their whole head shape deal... Ah, oh, shit. Uh, it reminds me very much of the rat creatures from Bone. Yeah, no, I know. So wait, that's that's what's down the other hallway, right? That's not that's the part that's not me. I guess I fired this thing in such a way that it's not going to be able to see me. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to tell. So that's the floor. It's kind of hard to tell if the ceiling's intact because it's looking right into a mass of ghost rock. I think it looks like the ceiling's intact there. Like there's not a, uh... Yeah. Like there is not a secret passage in the roof or anything. Hi. It looks almost like that surface. You can't. I'm pointing at the screen like you can tell. That surface that's at the bottom here with the triangles, it almost looks like the Nomai sticky floor. You know, the, the gravity producing floor. No, I know. I'm just trying to see. All right. Well... If this tunnel ever became flooded somehow, we could navigate it safely. I don't think that's going to happen. Right, I'm pretty sure these, these buildings up here remain completely intact, right? The bottom part of this place gets washed out a little bit, but let me drop this.
trying to get that lantern back over to the theater real quick, just just in case. If your concern is quickness, why did you grab the lantern that was furthest from the door? And you know, it's a good question. Okay. Well, good thing I did not rely on that bridge still being there. Okay, let's watch some movies, shall we? I love home movies. You know, that, that Coach McGurk, he's such a card. All right, what have we here? I do, I do love Coach McGurk, though. Okay, so the third part of this cycle. All right, spooky music. Great, great start. And then a spooky owl man will come toward us, and he will plug his face into this idol, which will cause it to produce a light and create the third lock, and that's it. I need like I need like chapter zero of this particular story. What are we locking up? What's in there? All right, let's look at this other one. So I think there's like there's there's at least one other projection house where we haven't seen the reels, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay, this one does seem to be relating to the artifact. So many of us watched things rotate around the sun for a while. We thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, then we wanted to watch some movies. So we all came and we sat down and... This is our homeworld, yeah? Yeah. It's a beautiful place. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Back. What are those things? The crowd seems upset. Hold on, I want to go back. What, what are we looking at here? Is that stuff falling from the... Man. Squinting at my monitor, which is showing a faraway picture of another monitor, which is showing a faraway picture of another monitor. It almost looks like... It, it's not clear to me whether they're falling... It's like long, thin rocks or something that are falling from the sky, or... Those could be big dragonflies, I guess? Maybe it's some sort of infestation? But it seems to have... Seems to have had an effect on their world. Okay, getting a lot of getting a lot of lightning around the edges of the screen here. That might just be the you know, I think it's just the film damage actually. And what happened to all of these reels? Is it light overexposure? It almost must be. Okay. This is the corpse chamber. So we all took our artifacts into the corpse chamber. Huh. This is probably going to get a little a little uh, icky, is my guess. Are we are we going to see them corpsify? So yeah, each of their artifacts lights up, and they sleep. But we're missing the critical middle part that describes why they chose to do that. I wonder. I'm not damaging these by looking through them with my my flashlight. Am I like am I am I responsible for the 
Probably not. Uh, yep, and that was, in fact, everything in here. <clears throat> so, bad news is that obviously the water has gone nowhere near high enough to fill this uh, this ghost rock tunnel. And we knew that was going to be the case. So I'm not really sure how I would how I would traverse it. It kind of doesn't look like there's anything worth traversing it for. Right, it looks like uh, out the other side we can see the other side. Yeah, I, I don't know that it's, um... Boy, is that... Because this, this side doesn't have any flooring at all. That can't be the Nomai gravity floor, though. Because that would mean these creatures in the Nomai had contact. And we've seen no other reason to think that such a thing occurred. Right, we know that this door down here is also closed and not openable, but I'm hoping... Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, that's okay. Let's go ahead and pop that. Okay, game's being a little bit aggressive with the, hey, I know what you should do next here. Is there a door visible in this room? There isn't. I was kind of wondering if the light on the scout might be sufficient to open the front door. It might be from here. Yep, good shooting text. I can hear it. I can hear it rotating down there. That totally does work. Beautiful. Brilliant. Just go take a look with my own four eyes. Thank you. Aha! Secret film canisters. Uh, and here, they're playing that game board. We saw that on one of the very, very first tables, right? Huh, I wonder if they always slept standing up. I guess we haven't seen, a, like, a, a bed anywhere, but we've seen plenty of those slabs. Very interesting. Alright, so, going out through this door, it shouldn't be a big deal to get back to the projection room. So this one very clearly shows the vessel that we are currently in. Which is good, I have a lot of questions about that. I feel like we've gotten very little information about what the purpose of this thing is. Oh, right, yeah. Didn't take the old reel out of the projector. <clears throat> okay, so first shot, this is part of the barrel. Wind that back a little bit. What are we seeing here? I do not know what to make of this. Okay, those are the same word. So it's like a flashing warning light, maybe? And that's it. That's the whole reel.
so something blew out or look I don't want to be like this but that looks to me like a ghost like a ghost blew out of the spaceship and that made one of the bays turn off but like you can see the landing bay at the bottom here is very different in both size and shape than these other things around the edge so I don't know what that is But it's bad. Yeah, ship log updated. I don't know, it was red and it seems like a bad thing or whatever. This is the level of information that I have for you. Well, I really don't know what to do with the stuff that we've uncovered from here. So I'm wondering if the best thing to do with the rest of this particular loop is to um, is to try to take this to the bell prison and see if we can light it on the fire there. I'm kind of curious if it reacts to the ghost rock at all. It does not. Ghost rock ruins everything. All right, I think that's the plan then. Let's go to the bell, which is the only place that we have seen the creepy green fire. And... I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. I wanna see. Yes. Yes, it's very hot. That's why it's red. It's not just red. It's super heated red. Why would they have a thing that's just heating, heating the water? I mean, I guess the, the heat for this place has to come from somewhere. There is that big central light. I don't know. I don't know. fact how you capture a fire. Feels like as good a time as any, right? Didn't even heal me. I was trying to I was trying to drop the artifact into the fire as best I could there. This thing's not actually interactable in any way, right? So, okay. We saw a situation like this in the corpse room. And my initial thought was that this looked like a base, like we would find something and plug it in and this would come down and like fit over the top and we'd like complete a circuit. But now I'm thinking this is a, this is a snuffer. This comes down over the fire pit and closes to deny it air and put it out that way. I really hate to say this. There are almost no words for how much I hate to say this. I think we got to go back to that corpse room. We got to go back to the corpse room before the water level rises. Well, all right. When we got close to that one before, and I was I was trying to like touch the artifact it was holding. I have this very clear memory of becoming like extremely focused on its face. And just like what would happen if that face moved in that moment? And that's what that's what like panicked me and drove me out of the room. Hmm. Alright. This is where we're calling it for today. 
I feel like we have done a lot of the first kind of learning, the question gaining kind of learning. When you come back next time, tomorrow, I think it's, there's, there's still some of that to do. We still need to just look around and figure out what class of problem we're even solving here. But I think it's time for a lot of like, uh, a lot of synthesis and a lot of just trying stuff. And we'll see you then.